All right, preparations are underway up and down Hampton Roads and northeastern North Carolina for whatever the storm does send our way. And we mentioned several cities have declared states of emergency. Virginia Beach is not one of them at this point, but they are taking the proper precautions to be ready. Tell your sides, Brandy Cummings is live now with this part of our team coverage. Brandy. Well, Nicole, Tom, we can tell you it has been raining all day here in Virginia Beach, and the wind seems to be blowing it here in different directions. But the primary concern, according to city officials, is flooding. They say the city of Virginia Beach is getting ready, and so are some residents. It's been a day of waiting and watching. Representatives from every city department gathered at the Emergency Operations Center to see Joaquin's path and prepare for what's to come. There's going to be some wind, but mostly it's going to be a rain event, so we're worried about uh, coastal and river flooding. 54 cameras inside the city traffic management center help monitor the roads. Public works crews, with the help of some inmates, filled 500 sandbags. These will be used to block water from getting inside some public buildings. While the city gets ready, officials want citizens to also be prepared. If they need to get out of the area, if their home is prone to flooding, Now's the time to, to recognize that and, and move if they need to move. Bob Jones is filling up today and hoping the rain doesn't stop him from traveling to North Carolina tomorrow, but just in case it does. Crank my generator up, make sure it's working, um, put all my trash barrels and stuff inside, you know, doing as much as I can to get ready. Thomas Cribb and his family are preparing now too. Just getting little canned goods and make sure our batteries are straight, make sure everything is, you know, good because we don't want to be stuck in the house and the lights go out and we just out here. Stuff. There are still many uncertainties about what will happen in the next few hours. In the meantime, officials want residents to plan, prepare, and pay attention to the storm's path. A lot of what we're going to do is going to be a reaction based on the storm track and what we need to do uh, as a result of that track. City officials said today crews were also spending time tying down signs. They went to the oceanfront and removed more than 1,400 trash cans. Officials say that crews are trying to remove anything that can pick up and, and be thrown around to cause any damage should the wind pick up here. For now, live in Virginia Beach, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.